Hello everyone, and thank you very much for joining me. I, of course, am Rotype. This is Factorio One Small Step. Thank you very much for tuning in. Like I said, today we are uh, putting Transport Belt down in the wrong place. Trying to finish up the setup for robots, even though we don't have any oil production. But, you know, that's, that's fine. It's fine. Um, let's see. So this needs... Some more here. I'm trying to let handy hands kind of work and get me get me some of the stuff I need. Although, frankly, most of it's on the bus. Things like belt. Although it looks like I have a lot of belt. Now, where is my belt? That is part of my belt, at least. I should need to be making those, at least. I need some of these. Give me that. And that's all I have on the bus. <laughs> My handy hands will still be working, but hopefully not for some of the basic things I at least already have being made automatically. So we'll go in here. These are the flying robot frame machines. This goes down. And this goes down as well. Uh, what is supposed to be here? Probably steel. Yes. Before I forget. Uh, no. Yes? Yes. So this comes down like this. And this is steel. Yep, yep. That's how that goes. Do I want to move this up to be... No, it's fine. Saving space versus looking the same. It's a hard decision. So let's go up here and grab ourselves some steel. So, steel split. For now, until I build a priority splitter. And frankly, that's just going to be a blueprint because I hate doing it myself over and over again. That is what the steel split looks like. Good. So now I have steel. And let's see, what else do we need to do? Oh my god, we really need to get robots. That's what we need to do. Especially for fluid handling. I mean, I have to do the kind of original layout myself, but... Robots make fluid handling so much easier. All right, bring the steel down. There we go, just like that. Uh, not that far. It's fine. And what else? All the inserters. Alrighty. Run these. Sometimes I feel like this game is just... A little bit of a slog until you get robots. At least if you've played it as many. I mean, I have several hundred hours in this game. I can definitely... Well, I, can, I say I can understand. I can understand and have played this game with a mod to just start with robots. Because once you've done this a few times... I mean, what I really should do is be creative and come up with new layouts. But I, I don't know. I don't do that. I just kind of go with my tried and true layouts that I have. It'll be nice. I believe I heard that in not point fifteen, we will have blueprints that will transfer to like between saves. So that'll be nice because I will make a blueprint of probably this save with all of my different various layouts. And then never make them again. <laughs> Just use robots. Uh, these are not the same. I'm okay with this. Well, no. Damn. Yep, that's gonna have to be moved down. Damn, damn. <laughs> so. This will get more interesting soon, I swear. Because after this... We will go pick up some stone brick that I've been making in a little shanty furnace on the side of the bus and make ourselves some oil refineries. And once we have oil refineries, we can start the oil production design. We of course, need pump jacks for that, but I think I might, in the interest of just getting things started, what am I missing here? Uh, nothing looks like. 
Oh, the pipe. That's what. In the interest of just getting something started, I might not put pump jacks on the bus right away. I might just get them, get them going, get them pumping, get it, some of this built. Because in case you can't tell, I really want to get robots so I don't have to build these things myself anymore. There we go. Okay. Uh, one more thing. The longhand insert is here. Just like this. Am I going to run out? Maybe. I wasn't counting. Yep. Yeah. And, oh, now you can't see. So there's a reason to put lights. When I zoom out all the way, can't actually quite see. So we'll just finish this up with the long-handled inserters like that. Okay. Everybody having fun? I'm having fun. Um, just a little bit more work here. Like this. Remember when I said the next thing I was going to do was trains? And then, yeah, that didn't actually happen. Sorry. Uh, but, you know, you got to get things ready for trains. Because otherwise you got to do trains like twice. And trains are fun, but kind of want to have your network. You don't want to have to rebuild your network because you built it one way and then, you know, you got blueprints and you built it. Yeah, no. All right. Everything is set up here to start running. Next thing. Ready? You ready? Uh, here it is. Pump jacks. I'm going to build uh, two. I think I have a very meager, yeah, very, very meager supply of oil immediately. Uh, yeah, down there, eh, a little bit more. Looks like here, which might actually require some alien fighting. Mm, I have to. Uh, let's load up this, and actually, while I'm leaving this area, I don't want it just, whoops, vacuuming up. I don't want it vacuuming up iron plate when I'm not around. Here's my dinky little stone furnace producing brick for me. Six, yeah, good. That that's how many I wanted. Six, sure. Uh, righty, and we march back to the beginning of the bus. I remember what the beginning of the bus looks like. What am I lacking? Oh, I'm lacking copper now. Oh, that's new. Okay, do I have a collection box for copper? I do not. I don't have a collection box for anything. Well, that's that's fine, I suppose. Vacuum up all that. No, well, that's not. Get a little bit more. A little faster to do it that way. Okay. Now let's run. We have our pump jacks. We have not, like, no pipe at all. That might be bad. But when Handy Hands is done with all this, Handy Hands can make me some pipe. Have yeah, I got a ton of ton of iron. He says right before he runs out of iron. How are we doing in mining? Let's see. This is all good. What is in here? Eh, a bunch of nonsense. I don't really care about all that. Oh. The uh, why is this here? Get rid of that and that and that as well. I don't want it. So looks like we aren't actually completely tapped out on iron. It's been a while since I've been down this way. We'll go ahead and take up all of this and replace them. Perfect. And give it some power. There we go. We take care of iron for at least a little while. Now, eh, 1.3. That's, that's okay. 1.0, that's, I mean, I'll survive if I have to. Uh, so I know I planned the train yard depot. Uh, let's see this. Yeah, perfect. In, I believe it was the last episode. Next, we need to plan where we're going to do the oil processing. So if the train depot, so I think I usually separate the kind of mm, wet, wet and dry bulk. I think is the, the technical term, anybody in the cargo industry. So the dry bulk, I think, will come up here. 
dry bulk being, you know, stone and coal and copper and all that stuff. And then it'll go up here. It'll get onto the raw bus and just kind of move along. Now, do I want to do, do I want to put the liquids on the raw bus and have columns of refineries? Or do I want to do the refining kind of in its own, maybe like here, and then just put the products on in, in the main, you know, the main bus down here, wherever the pipes are. I think purple is pipes, maybe. So either way, I might have the wet bulk depot maybe just down here. I have several. Well, let, let's go up there. I think I have, uh, while I'm here, let's go ahead and give these some power. Just for, you know, no good reason. I think I can fill up this empty pipe. So let's go try and lay this out and see how I, how things are going to look, how things are uh, what kind of space I have, stuff like that. All right, I got distracted by a miner. There we go. Also, how are we doing on power? Mm, okay. Oh, good. Done with the queue. Uh, what do we want to do next? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't actually have... I have I have robots now, right? That's what I just did. I have construction robots. Well, that's the most important. So you can't do blue until you can actually do refined, you know, oil and all that stuff. So until I do that, what do I want to research? What is this? Oh, logistic robots. Car might be useful. And then crafting speed seems to be kind of what I've been talking about with handy hands. And, you know, we'll just... Do all all nine of them fine <laughs> just just research away let's go back up here to what I was talking about and figure out where we're gonna do refining so here's a rail what kind of stations do I want so if I send this to uh, depot a I don't care how long just go okay so this will be depot a uh, I don't I don't care that has no path and uh, they'll be coming out actually. And I don't know if this will be final or not. I'm just kind of blocking the space. There we go. So if these go into boxes, I think I'm going to have a robot. In the end, it'll be a robotic network. So I don't necessarily need just a ton of space. I just need, you know, Probably just that much, right? And then on the other end, just make a handful of those. Oh, of course, I'm still building refineries. All right, so instead of, forget waiting for those. There'll be another box, and another inserter, and then I believe I can just go ahead and place this here. And that will be the other station. And we'll replace these with active providers. The robots will take them out of the active providers and put them into the storage. And from there, we'll go ahead and do the, uh, like I was talking about before, the, the dry bulk will go up and get onto the raw bus. Now, how many lanes do I want? Well, let's see. I think... It probably should not be much more to the right. This should kind of be the end. So what's that going to look like? Uh, I think that. And I think that. Will that do? Is this going to... Well, it'll... It's Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with this. So here is our entrance. This is one stall. So I want to make them two. If I wanted to get up on this level, that's how much it would take. And this would come down like this. Is it worth it? 
to put multiple. No, I don't think it is. I think that just adds to the signaling complexity. So we are not going to. I'm not going to do two train stops per stall. There's probably there's got to be a better better word for that than stall, but two of these, and then this. So uh, we'll just do this, and there'll be another stop here. This goes to what? Uh, here. That. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just add. Well, how many do we want? I want to make sure I leave enough space for. Uh, give me all the rest of this. Alrighty. There's a better way to do this, I think. Yeah, there we go. Ugh. Of course. Well, I can't actually use long reach to do this, but this is almost better because it doesn't use the rails yet. So here. Uh, what does that look like? That's what they've all looked like, right? Yeah. So this would be one, two, three, four, five. How much farther until we start getting into an issue? I think the next thing to do would be to start planning the actual entrance. Now, I'm a little bit more okay with vertical wet bulk stations because you don't use as many pumps. And I know they fixed the way the trains work, so vertical stations, you can still fit the same amount, but I don't know, old habits, I suppose. So what if I made... A vertical set of stations here would this be a problem and this would be the wet bulk unloading this does suggest though that I don't do any refining here which I think I'm I think I'm gonna go that way I think I want to send the crude oil and it'll need some water as well up to the raw bus and then do the processing let's see so I'll, I'll I have another set of stations here. The crude oil and a pipe of water goes up to the raw bus. And then I have my refineries kind of in, in columns, same as I do here. And they come down and feed into the bus. The only small issue might be, well, what is the first thing that needs any kind of oil? Probably... The blue circuits, processing units. So here I have green circuits. I believe this was space for more green circuits. Maybe this is space. Hmm. No, this has to be space for red circuits because science needs red circuits. Yeah, so this is space for red circuits. Science needs the red circuits. And then red circuits for the bus. So blue circuits, I don't need any blue circuits for science. So all right, so I'm, I'm doing all this because I'm trying to think if they get, if the refineries get pushed, the sulfuric acid gets pushed kind of past the science and sulfuric acid doesn't get down on the bus, I'd rather not have a, a vertical and then T split for the sulfuric acid. I'd rather just go down the bus. But it looks like we'll be okay. Uh, it looks like we don't necessarily need sulfuric acid super early. So we'll be okay in that in that manner. So I think I am going to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to take Farl. This is, again, another reason I use the spacing for the four carriages here on Farl. Because I can use it to space out all of my tracks and trains and things like that. So if I hop in here, uh, nope, I need to rebind that key. Oh. Wow, this is another reason to make lights. Sorry for the darkness. Apparently the lights mod doesn't work when you're in a train. So, let's get out of the train. If I only want one, two, three, four, five. Do I only want five? I think, I mean, five's a lot. And the robots can unload really fast. However... I can kind of, oh, that was one too close. There we go. So this will be the entrance to the depot. I guess the real question is, actually, why don't I just do it like this? Um, what's the deal here? There we go. Make the entrance like this. 
Now, if I have several vertical depots here, I suppose I'll have to run an exit. So let's space that out as well. Let's say if this is that, and this is here, this is the top one, we'll call it. I can't afford to run an exit from the other part of the depot here because this is still really short for the robots. Actually, you know what I should do? I should space a robot port there. Now, how big is a robot port? I don't actually, I think it's, you know, is it three by three or four by four? I feel like it's, well, I'll leave space for four by four. So if it unloads to here, the robots are, or the robo ports will be one, two, three, four. That does seem big. Mm, but that's fine. So there'll be robo ports, and then just in case I want to build some kind of gate system, this will be where the train. And this is the exit only. No, no stations. This is just the exit for the liquid train, or the liquid kind of depot area. And that will come in here, and I'll build many parallel lines, just the same as I did. And you know, they might not be able to be that close because I'll have to look into the piping setup. But unfortunately, that is going to have to be next episode's task. So give me your thumbs for your thoughts. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll be back soon with the next episode. But until then, my name's been Rotype, and I'll see you next time.